Today is going to be a special video. It's my birthday today. And in honor of it being my 22nd birthday, I decided that I'm gonna share with you my 22 best pieces of life advice. Something I find really valuable is reading or hearing about what other people have to say about life and their experiences. So in this video, that's what I'll be doing for you. So without further ado, here are 22 pieces of advice from 22 years of life. Oh, and watch your ears. <laughs> Number one, the meaning of life. And I told you we're gonna get deep right now. Giving is living. And the best way to have a meaningful and purposeful life is to continuously grow as an individual and to contribute directly to other people's lives. For example, that is why I created Sprout. I knew I had a voice, I knew I had a message, and I'm trying to tell every single young adult that there is more to life than just sitting on your couch, taking the nine to five job, and waiting for your dreams to happen. And if you change the outcome, in a single viewer, then you've done something correct. You've positively impacted a world that is beyond yours. So number one, giving is living. Number two, make change a must. So a couple years ago, I was at what I would call the low point in my life. And this was basically a period of time where I had lost all motivation, I was in a really bad relationship, and I was very dissatisfied with my life. So I had friends who were telling me that I had to do something about my situation, but I never really pulled the trigger. And that is why change is a must because you'll never be able to make a change that's long lasting in your life unless it's a must. You've gotta go back against the wall, knee deep in the water, that's how you're gonna make the change. So if you're gonna do something, go all in and make sure that you know it's not a should, it's a must. Number three, health is underestimated. So you can have all the money that you want in the world and it doesn't matter because if you don't have your health, you have nothing. I train because yes, I wanna look good, I wanna have a nice body, but also because my family has a long list of medical shortcomings, and I know that if I don't take care of my body and eat well, then I might succumb to those as well. So it's really, really important that you focus on eating well, exercising, and maintaining a really good sense of mental health, because without that, you're nothing. Number four, consistency is key and routines are essential. I think I'm the million or billionth person to tell you that consistency is key, but there's a reason for that, and that's because it's the most true sentence in the freaking world. If all of us took our big goals and were just really consistent with our actions towards getting to those big goals, we'd all be successful. I really don't think that there's any other key in life than consistency. So like imagine you wanted to get abs. Well, if you worked on your abs or your fitness or your health every single day for one to five years, Imagine the progress that you would make. And the same goes for anything in life, like making a YouTube video every week for five years. Imagine where you would get in your life if you were just consistent. So the problem with most of us is we give up before we see the results because we don't see the results fast enough. But that is a very bad flaw to have and that is thinking that life is full of instant gratification. Well, it's not. The best things in life actually come from delayed gratification. So if you can keep being consistent and have the right routines in place, especially morning routines, evening routines, and daily routines, you'll get somewhere that you never would have believed possible. And it's just through doing the same thing for long enough to see the results. Number five, family is everything. I don't know if you guys have ever read a post called The Tail End by Tim Urban. I'll link it below if you haven't. But in this article, he basically states that most of us have spent 93% of our time with our parents by the end of high school. I'm only 22, but I don't wanna have that feeling when I'm older. I wanna be able to say that I spend so much time with them. You should be willing to be spending more time with everyone in your family because they are the only set of people who will love you unconditionally, no matter who you are. So don't wait until it's too late. Always make time for your family. Number six, passion is important. I think everybody pretty much stresses that you have to find your passion in life if you wanna be truly happy, but a lot of people forget to say how you find your passion. The way you find it is through your experiences and your relationships. So if you haven't yet found what your passion is, but you're trying to find it, Think of the people that you surround yourself with and think of the things you would like to do most in life. Those are usually two pretty good indicators. So passion is important, but finding it is even more important. 
Number seven, experiencing is living. In the last 18 months, I've done many things, but three notable ones. I've backpacked across Europe, I moved to Asia alone on exchange, and I moved to Vancouver for three months to live with a girl that I'd never met in my life before. Those are three experiences, but three life-changing moments, all because I decided I wanted to see the world. My advice here is don't commit yourself to a job right out of university if you don't know what you want to do in life. Don't commit before you experience and see the world and learn a little bit more about yourself and your desired place on this planet. Number eight, don't settle for average. 99% of you will end up working in a job that you do not like. And the reason why you're gonna do that is because you don't give yourself the opportunity to see what else is out there. If we all trusted ourselves more, we would be so much better off. The decisions that you make every single day are what decide the quality of your life. And it comes down to honestly split second decisions like whether to work out or not, whether to try a cold shower or not, eat healthy or eat out. Those little things don't seem like they're that big in the moment, but when you compound them over a series of other decisions, you realize that they make a habit in your thoughts. So if you wanna be a certain quality human being, you have to start making certain quality decisions, but you are better than you think you are, and you shouldn't settle for average, ever. Number nine, nothing in life is actually hard. So we all think that things are hard, like losing weight or getting abs, starting a YouTube channel, anything that you think is hard, the reason why you think it's hard is because you haven't actively tried to solve it yet. And that's where a lot of us go wrong. We start getting these big ideas in our head and we just don't know how to figure them out so they become hard and they stay in our heads and we always think that they're impossible to figure out. But if you actually took time out of your life every single day to try and solve those problems, you'd realize it's a lot simpler than you think. That's why millions of other people have done that. And that's the logic that you have to have with you in life is that if something is hard, it's just a matter of time before it becomes easy and then you move on and you move on and you move on and you realize nothing in life is hard if you put your mind to it. Number 10, you don't need everyone to like you. It's crazy that some of the times where I've posted YouTube videos where I think I've done the most for other people, I get negative feedback and people throwing shade. Rather than actually looking at that and being sad about it, I understand the concept of life and that is that it doesn't matter how much good you try and do for the world, there will always be someone to rain on that parade. And the only thing that you can do is to keep calm and carry on. I know it's a bit cheesy, but it really is true. Not everyone has to like you for you to continue to do what you want to do. You just have to find the people who do like you, connect with them, grow with them, and build relationships with them. Number 11, be on the mountain. So I heard this when I was reading a blog post a couple months ago, and it essentially means live in the moment. Imagine you're going hiking, you're going to climb a mountain, and you work really hard to get all the way to the top. Once you reach the peak, don't immediately start thinking about how you're going to get down. Rather, enjoy the moment, acknowledge what you just did, be proud of yourself, and be present. There's a lot of us who just go action to action to action to action to action without ever thinking about where we are, why we're doing what we're doing, and where we want to go next. It's just constant movement in this really fast and noisy world. And the best advice I can give you in this case is to crowd out that noise and just be present and live in the moment and not worry about what's happening in five minutes or tomorrow or next week. Just be you, enjoy yourself. Number 12, life is about the journey. I think especially for young people, this is even more important because we're all used to instant gratification, where if we do well on our test, we get the 100, we get the mark, we feel good about ourselves. But now in the real world, it doesn't work like that. For true success, for long lasting success, you have to be understanding that things take time. All the trials, tribulations, and hard times that you face and the moments that you wanna give up are what makes that success at the end of the journey even more worth it. So if we had everything going for us, if we got everything we wanted, we'd never truly appreciate what it is that we want and what it is that we're going after. You have to appreciate every single bump in the road because without them, the end of the road wouldn't be as fulfilling. <sighs> Number 13, there's nothing to be afraid of. All of us, rightfully so, have our own set of fears, but how many times do you actually think about why you're scared of those things? For me, I started thinking about them and Every time I would say I was scared of something, I would ask myself why I was scared. And most of the time, I couldn't come up with an answer. And that meant that that fear was irrational. It meant that I shouldn't actually be feeling that as fear. Rather, it's something that's holding me back 
from getting to another level in my life. So next time that you feel scared about doing something, whether it's as simple as asking someone out or deciding to take a cold shower, ask yourself why you're scared. And most of the time, you won't be able to come up with an answer. And that means that that fear is irrational. It means that it's holding you back from getting to a better point in your life. Number 14, change is growth. So we all want a different outcome in life, but not all of us want to change to get there. And that's the problem. That is the fundamental issue that most of us have is that we're not willing to make the sacrifice for the reward. Change equals uncertainty and uncertainty usually equals discomfort. And most people see discomfort as a negative thing, but you should be flipping that prerogative and you should be thinking instead that discomfort is the key to growth. And the second you take one foot outside of your comfort zone, you're on your way to learning new things about both the world and yourself. And that is how we grow. Number 15, doubt kills. The person in life who is going to stop you from doing what you truly wanna do is you. It really is a mindset and the only person who can dictate your actions is and should always be you. So if you doubt yourself, you'll never be able to go 100% into what you actually and truly want to do. Believe in who you are, believe in who you can become because if you don't believe, nobody else will. Number 16, life is hard. And I think that we all can agree on this one. Nothing ever really seems to go the way you want it, but the difference between being happy and unhappy is understanding that that is the case for everyone the biggest thing for me is that I think things don't go well in my life and I look at everyone else and I say, hmm, things must be going well for them. But the reality is everyone is feeling what you're feeling no matter what step in the ladder they're on. So it's important to have your habits, your routines, the things that make you happy, the people that make you happy. But it's even more important to understand that life is very unpredictable and you just gotta go with it sometimes and hope for the best by keeping a positive attitude and staying ready for the next opportunity. Number 17, you don't only live once. Contrary to the whole YOLO spiel, I don't think you actually live once. It takes seven years to master something in life, you know, the 10,000 hour rule and everything. Well, that takes approximately seven years to achieve. But if you think about it, if you're 20 years old right now and you live till you're 90, that means you could reinvent yourself 10 different times over the course of your lifetime. So you could be 10 different people. People looking at me, people looking at me. People looking at me, let it pass, let it pass. And that means, <laughs> and that means that it's okay to try a bunch of different things in your life. You don't have to settle for one career path and think that that's it, that's all. You can do so many different things, be so many different people. So don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid to live in the moment because you can always change. And in seven years time, you'll be the best in the world at something new. So you live more than once. Number 18, create more than you consume. Now, in other words, give more than you take. The second you start giving back to your community and to building a new community, you start receiving a lot more. So it plays in back and forth with each other. The point of this is don't just be someone who sifts through social media and reads content, be someone who creates. Number 19, you can't change people. And this is kind of a mental hurdle for me because I have so much belief in myself and my ability that I think I can change people. But I've realized through my life and through my relationships, my experiences, that people will only change if they want to change. So the best you can do in that case is you can inspire them. You can give them reason to want to change, you can teach them, you can show them the way, but you can't actually put them on the journey, hold their hand and walk them through and expect everything to go the way you want because everyone is different. Number 20, just do it. So the difference between someone who is good in life and someone who is great is that both of them have good ideas but only the great people act on those ideas. There's no point in getting caught up in your own thoughts because most of the time we just talk ourselves out of doing things and nothing ever happens and we wonder why we aren't happy. So if you can figure that out and you can start making routines for yourself and you can start just doing things, you'll be so much better off. Number 21, trust the process. And I love this one because it's, it's so freaking true. Especially when you're young, in your 20s, Nobody really knows what we want and we're all living our unique lives. We have our unique goals, our ambitions, and the only way that we're ever going to amount to achieving those is if we become okay with uncertainty. 
The reality is a lot of things have happened in my life that I could have never predicted. Being in Vancouver and living with a girl that I met through DMs as one of those things. But without this trip to Vancouver, I never would have learned the content creation skills that I have and I wouldn't have understood more about building a business. Things do really happen for their own reasons. I'm not sure why or how they happen, but they do happen and you gotta trust the process and every little experience that you have will add up and will take you down that road that you've always dreamed of going down. And that's a perfect segue into number 22, which is to believe in yourself. Always, always, always believe in yourself because all of us are unique and we all have our special sauce. And you can use that to make so many positive changes in life, not just in yourself, but in the people around you. You can do whatever you wanna do, but as long as you don't believe it, it'll never happen. So it all starts with you and always believe. So 22 life lessons from 22 years of life. I know I'm only 22 and I don't know if that coincides with inexperience, naivety or whatever you may think, but these are my 22 lessons for a really successful life. And hopefully they change over the course of my lifetime as I get older and I learn more things and experience more things. But again, it's important to give back to people and to teach people a little bit more about what you know. If you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe and I'll be back at the end of the week for another Canadian travel video. So let's go. Happy birthday to me. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys soon.